One night is coming, and I want to surprise my wife again. Last year, I built her this beautiful mechanical tulip. And I was wondering, what's more than one ever-blooming flower? More of them. So I decided to build at least 10 of these and create ever-blooming garden for her. The original tulip took me... Ah, uh, what are you doing? Touch him, touch him. Yes, That was my wife. I didn't realize she was home. This should be much more safe a place to talk. The original tulip took me two weeks to build. I don't have that time, but I got a plan. Wish me luck. The first part I'm going to build is the stem with the push rod, which opens and closes the petals. It's gonna be awesome! So second and probably the most complicated part of the flower are petals. These are pretty hard to make from wire because in order for flower to nicely close, they need to be completely identical. So I'm going to change it a little bit and I designed these, which can be 3D printed. So I can make as many as I wish and I guarantee the flower will look awesome. <laughs> so, the third part is a pot, which contains all the electronics. The original one is handmade from wood, and I still want to use wood, although I have these 3D printed ones as well. But I'm not going to use my hands, 
but I will use my CNC machine to do the job for me. Working with a CNC is not always about success. The pot contains servo to move the petals and ESP32 board to control the flower. On the original flower it looks pretty messy and kinda hacky. That's why I designed my own printed circuit board that contains all the electronics and also nicely hides all the internals. I let PCBWA, which is Chinese manufacturer, to manufacture them for me and I am super happy with the result. PCBWA recommended. I got all the components ready, the pots, the leaves, the flowers. It's time for the final assembly. It's gonna look like this.
you did all right. I'm really, really happy with the result. I can't wait for my wife to see them. There's still the work needs to be done. I want them to be remote control and I only have two days left. Wish me luck. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you don't want to miss the final result, subscribe. Bye.